Hello everyone, today will be all about cloud security in automation. We will create a brand new VPC in AWS with a web server and secure it with a Palo Alto network firewall. So this is our topology. One VPC in the US East one region and we do have three subnets. Public, facing the internet. Management, which is an out of band access for the admins. And finally DMZ, where we will set up the web server. We want to make sure this server is protected by the firewall. So internet traffic will have to flow via the firewall when targeting the machine. Now we want to build this quickly. So we will use a cloud formation stack, which is basically going to build the entire architecture using a YAML file. In addition, we'll also get profit of an S3 bucket to bootstrap the firewall with the correct configuration, including the zone, the NAT and the security rules. All the details about the files are provided in the description of the video. So don't worry, you will have access to everything you need to reproduce this on your own. Ready? Okay, let's get started. Okay, we are now in the AWS console and we are choosing the cloud formation tool just under management and governance. We will now create a new stack and get the template file locally. This file is available on my GitHub and again, all the details are in the video description. Once you have selected the file, CloudFormation verify the syntax and you can then click on next. At this stage, you must enter a stack name but you must also specify the name of the bucket where you can preload the firewall configuration. Again, I give an example in the video description. The Amazon machine image for the Palo Alto firewall, you will find this information directly in the marketplace and the same goes for the Linux server AMI, by the way. And finally, the AWS SSH key for the firewall. If you are using a bootstrap config, I've already set up an admin account for you in the firewall. Once this is done, you can click on next. At this stage, nothing is mandatory, so you can scroll down and click on next. And the same goes with this last menu, except that this time you must scroll down and approve the I am resource creation. And the reason for that is because during the stack creation, we do create a special role for the firewall to get its configuration file from the F3 bucket. Once you are ready, you can click on create stack and CloudFormation will create the entire infrastructure for us step by step. What you will see from now is the creation of each component described in the template, like the VPC, the networks, the ENI, the Elastic IP, but also the firewall and web server EC2 instance. It should not take more than two minutes to create the stack, so I will fast forward a bit to get to the end of this process. Once you see this message, the entire infrastructure is ready. However, you will have to wait roughly an extra 10 minutes for the firewall to be fully available. In the meanwhile, you can also click on the output menu right here to get the management IP of the firewall, as well as the IP address of the web server sitting in a DMZ. After a while, you should be able to log in, in the firewall. and also browse the web server in the DMZ. In addition, you should also see the web traffic transiting via your firewall when investigating the session. Right here. And that's it for this video combining a lot of interesting technology. I hope you enjoy it and please let me know if you'd like to see more content like this one on my channel.